Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to make a video because I've been noticing a lot of things on Tumblr and YouTube lately that have been genuinely pissing me off. Um, and that would be transgendered people hating on cisgendered people. Also, another topic I want to talk about is people comparing their lives to your own and assuming that your life is perfect and that theirs is much worse. So first of all, transgender people hating on cisgender people is probably the stupidest thing I have ever seen amongst the trans community. These certain people I've seen will complain that cisgender people don't accept them. But at the same time, they'll be telling them to kill themselves and how much they hate them and how much Cisgender people will never understand how it is to be trans, and they hate them so much, and this and that. Do you think that discriminating against the cisgendered people will make them accept you? That's completely backwards. And you're being a complete hypocrite because you keep saying you want to be accepted by everybody. Meanwhile, you're discriminating against the people you want to be accepted by. And it just completely confuses me as to why these people think this way or what their logic is. And I just don't understand. There is absolutely no reason to tell anybody to kill themselves or discriminate against anybody. And I can understand that transgender people feel victimized by certain cisgendered people because it's happened to them before. But that does not mean that every single cisgendered person is the same as this one person you've been harassed by. That's like being racist and saying that someone of a different skin color than you did something to you at one point that insulted you. And then you go and say that you hate a whole race because this one person did that to you. That's the same thing as discriminating against all cisgendered people. Transgendered people, I've noticed, certain transgendered people, tend to be very sensitive, which is understandable. But something I've noticed is that these specific ones seem to dig through every conversation and find the littlest thing that could possibly be offensive to them because they want something to complain about or something. They feel victimized by every single person that talks to them, and I generally feel bad for these people because it must be horrible living that way, thinking that everybody is insulting you with every single thing that's told to you. I can't imagine living that way. It's just these people... Try to find the littlest thing to be insulted by and then cause a fight. I don't understand this. It's like these people are obsessed with being trans and so into themselves that they let themselves being transgender define who they are completely. And there's nothing else about them. They are transgendered and that is their personality. That's who they are. Everything relates to being transgendered. I absolutely hate this. I understand you can take pride in being transgendered, you can do whatever, like let people know information about being trans, take pride in it, do whatever you want to do, but don't let it define who you are completely, just that is uh, absolutely irritates me so much. It's these people are obsessed and self-centered and they think that everybody's insulting them and that's where these people come from that hate on these cisgendered people. And I don't really know why. I understand people have gone through hard times being transgendered, like we all have. And it's very hard when you're being harassed for being who you are. But you're doing the same exact thing that these people did to you by bashing on these cisgendered people and telling them to kill themselves. Nobody deserves to be told to kill themselves, no matter who they are, no matter what, no matter what. You don't know somebody's situation. You don't know how stable they are. You don't know if they have their own emotional problems. You cannot tell somebody to kill themselves no matter what. That's pretty much it. And just, you can't, you can't say they're not, like, you can't say, oh, they're not transgendered so they don't know what real pain is. They don't know what it's like to hate yourself because of your body. 
and that is not true because cisgendered people can also suffer from body image problems. I'd say most people in the world dislike something about their body. And they can be very self-conscious about it. And to an extent, being transgendered is the same as that. I know it's to a bigger extreme because we don't feel right in our entire body. But certain people, cisgendered people, have something on their body that they absolutely hate. And they can understand to an extent how we feel. I know they won't understand exactly what it's like to be transgendered, but they can understand to some extent. And you can't say that cisgendered people ha have no problems like we do because you don't know the situation and you can't go discriminating against somebody you want to accept you. That's pretty much all I'm trying to say. Just don't discriminate against somebody who you don't want to discriminate against you. I can understand if you're being harassed and you want to defend yourself and say a comment back that defends yourself and might be slightly insulting, that's completely fine. That's defending yourself. That's not going out of your way to purposely hurt somebody just for being different than you. You're doing the exact same thing that other people do to you when you discriminate against cisgendered people. Another thing I wanted to s discuss, um, it's kind of relevant to this topic, is people comparing their lives to your own and assuming that their life is the worst life anybody could possibly live and that your problems mean nothing. I think this bothers me more than anything because, okay, I have been through a lot of shit in my time. <laughs> Uh, and I don't sit here and complain about it. I don't dwell on it. I don't go to other people and say, my life is so much worse than you because I've been through this and you haven't. I understand that everybody goes through their own struggles. Everybody has their own limit to what they can handle. Everybody has something to go through at one point in their life. And just because, in my opinion, what I've been through is worse than them doesn't mean that I can tell them that they haven't been through anything worth talking about or worth complaining about. Everybody has a right to complain about what they feel they need to complain about. If they're hurting because of something, it obviously means it affected them and it hurt them. They should be able to talk about it. Uh, and it, me saying this means a lot. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys what I've been through, but just a lot of things um, my whole life that I've dealt with I will not once tell somebody, your problems are not enough, shut up and get over it. That's not how it works at all. Everybody has their own struggles and don't ever compare your life to somebody because you have no idea what they've been through and you have no right to assume that their life is perfect. Now back to the topic of um, discrimination. Uh, I don't know why people do discriminate against people. I don't know if it's to feel better about themselves or what. But it will not make you feel better about yourself. It will make you feel horrible in the end. And it doesn't make you look good. It makes you look like a fucking asshole. Now, I could say this because at one point in my life, I will admit, I, I was not the best person. I had people around me influencing me to be a worse person. I did discriminate, I was shallow, I was a bad person at one point, and I can fully admit that, and now I, looking back on that, I feel so completely horrible for how I was, and I've changed who I am, I've, I won't, I won't discriminate against somebody, I won't make an unnecessary comment, um, I'll have a thought, maybe, of an opinion, like, oh, what, is, what are they wearing, or something like that. But it's completely unnecessary to vocalize your opinions just to make fun of somebody or harass someone. It's okay to think it, just keep it inside. Everybody thinks something mean at some point in their life. But when you vocalize it, it doesn't make you feel better about yourself. In the end, you will feel worse about yourself. And you'll just regret everything you ever said. Because things do get back to you. I fully believe in karma, and I think if you do good, good things will come to you. And if you do bad, you're sure as hell going to pay for it. So, 
that's my rant. <laughs> uh, this is all just based on opinions and personal experiences, so if you feel insulted by anything I said, uh, I apologize. Um, feel free to comment if you find the need. Just, I'd rather avoid some fights, so if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Alright guys, bye.